Welcome to Hamburg, gentlemen. What a place to do business. because we haven't done business before. We're all nervous, aren't we? So where's the smack? In the boot of my car, down on the quayside. Is there anybody else down in the car? Maybe. Were you followed here? Do you think we'd be here everywhere? Is an asshole. Hey. You heard him? Come on. Example. You won't be disappointed. It's Pakistani. 85% pure. I'd like to choose my own sample from the five kilos. I don't like this. I'm calling it off. No, wait a second. Something doesn't smell right. These I two wish don't that add up. jerk would shut up. Calm down. You show us the money, then we'll get the heroin for you. going to get up and to go over there. What the hell is going on? They are cops. Cool it. We are not cops. I knew from the start. Cool it. What the hell is going on? They are cops. Yeah. 
this region has been cut down from 800 tons a year to less than 40. Mr. Lithgow, we are only about nine miles from the border with Afghanistan. We are creating a completely new infrastructure of agriculture. The land is being irrigated. The whole range of crops is being grown. Maize, wheat, sugarcane, tobacco. Tobacco, yes, so that we can all die of lung cancer instead of heroin addiction, eh? <laughs> yes, yes. It's a whole new scheme, Minister. New schools, new hospitals, new roads for the farmers to get their produce to the market. So we've got against the dead. Another one shot in the foot. A Mercedes scattered around the garage and no heroin. Hold on. Wait a minute, Dita. Wait a minute. Hold on. The door shut. The what? Didn't Gene Hackman in the French Connection discover the heroin hidden in the door shut? Yeah. I saw that movie too. everything. is transformed into the morphine base. My God, I thought it was all going to be test tubes of men in white coats. Unfortunately, it's extremely easy to manufacture heroin. Hydrochloric acid, probably. Just leave it. So have they found any heroin here? Not exactly a major hole. Well, perhaps they knew we were coming.
There's nothing to see. Dr. Schaefer, please report to reception on the ground floor. Would Dr. Schaefer please report to reception on the ground floor? Excuse me, please. You know, I just had a thought. We could get him on a charge of illegally possessing cannabis. It just simply doesn't add up. I was certain they'd bring the stuff with them. Okay. Can we go over it? What about the car? It's a hire car. The other Frenchman. He picked it up in Paris on Monday and obviously drove it up here to Hamburg since then. No point in bringing heroin from Paris to Hamburg. That's true. So it's a dead end. Say the dead gangster only came to do the money pickup. And this guy, Le, Lady... Lady Zaire. Lady Zaire came to Hamburg quite separately with his stuff. Could have done. Tell me, do you think he could have some sort of a keyring fetish? <laughs> Please. This is Pakistani, Peter. So he came from Pakistan? Yeah. Well, how did he get through customs at the airport? He'd have been arrested. They know him. <laughs> What's wrong with us two? Eh? He came on board the ship. Yeah, he might. Well, it's worth checking. What was Lady Sayer's job on the ship? Are you kidding? Lady Sayer was the captain. If you get anything on board, it will have been unloaded by now. You know how they train sniffer dogs? Turn them into junkies. Ah, bullshit. It's true, they're stunned out of their heads. You think they do it out of us? Bullshit. Okay, that can do. That's enough. Stop it. Good boy. Search. Search. Come on. Good boy. Search. Search. There's a good one. Search it About the container. Not a chance, then. They're searched and sealed by customs on embarkation. No, no, Ali, the stuff's still on the ship. No, no, Dede, it isn't. It's in some container. And now, it's about to disappear out of our lives forever, or something.
You know, in the shit, don't you do this? Up to our necks. Ah. Uli! Stop! I want to have a look underneath. Oh no, Dieter, don't be silly. Give it up. Hey, wait! Hey! Find us a diver and a tug. An underwater camera. And get a move on! Like your five kilos? <laughs> no one! What are you talking about? There's got to be ten there at least. Fish them out? Yeah. Don't give me five kilos. Yeah. There's five there alone. It's a jackpot. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Don't get carried away. <laughs> How you doing, Jackie? Uh, the poor guy doesn't look exactly pleased with life, huh? <laughs> I bet that leg hurts. Uh, Off the bed, please. Oh, sorry. The real pleasure for me was seeing you shoot yourself in the foot. Cruel, Dieter. Cool. I could add attempted murder to the charges. <laughs> and geez, are they charges? No smoking. I want to do a deal. I want to live in Honolulu, but I don't think it's very likely. <laughs> If you give me immunity, I can give you a lot of names. You're a big time courier. We've got you with 70 kilos of heroin. What are you going to do about it? You're going to shop junkies? I will tell you the whole network. No. What you'll do is go to prison. I... <laughs> Off the bed, please. I will tell you who finances the whole thing. I will go to court. Are we interested in that, Uli? Are we? Mm -mm. But I need assurances. I'm signing my death warrant if I give you the name. Hello? Is Helen there? Hello? Hello? Are you all right? Hi, darling. Darling, how are you? I've been trying to get a line all day. So good to hear you. Guess what? I'm coming home. When? Tomorrow. When? Tomorrow, at the latest. Oh, that's wonderful. Come and meet me at the airport. Yes. I'll bring the children with me. Darling, I have to go. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, love you, I'll phone the flight when I know. I said, I said I love you. Bye. Bye. Bye, darling. Bye. Morning. Carl Rosshall. May I have the honor to introduce Mr. Jack Lithgow from the British Home Office? Pleased to meet you, and thank you very much for your time. Herr Rosshall is in charge of the pumping station and all the projects here. Please. Thank you. Do you work for your own government? Oh, no. I own a number of companies that supply irrigation equipment. I'm afraid my reasons for being here are not at all altruistic. I'm just making a living. Please. We've been in Pakistan long. Your English is excellent. I have an English wife, and she's very lazy about learning German, so... Please. Here we have a British and American aid area. There are French engineers working here. It's German pipeline and pumping equipment. It's a bit like Berlin after the war. All the different countries with their projects going on. I hope you're here to give us more money to carry on our good work. Oh, unfortunately, I don't give anything. I'm just here to see how the eight schemes are progressing and to make recommendations. 
you think that these farming projects have eradicated poppy growing in the region? I'm a businessman. I can't claim to know that. Are we going to see one of these new farms? Of course. We'll take my car. What are they making? The sugarcane produces a syrup called gura, which is sold in the local markets. For every five acres that used to be poppies, the farmers now have to grow 20 acres of sugarcane just to earn the same revenue. Started. You are late for that. How's it going? They are deciding nothing again. We will buy your wheat and sugarcane crops at subsidized rates to help you. The government in Islamabad has just concluded a treaty with the intention of providing extra money to be provided by international bankers. If you want to help us, buy our poppy crops and then you can do what you want. You can destroy them if you want to. I can't feed my family. But there's more aid money coming from America and Britain. The money never reaches us. It goes on the European experts and advisors. Time is running out for you. Time is running out. This is your last chance. If you want our help, and a guaranteed market for legitimate crops at a fair price. Your fair market price isn't enough to live on. My two brothers have had to move to Karachi because they couldn't survive. Oh, Growing no, poppy is illegal, and you are breaking the law. I'm sorry, Mr. Litko. I have to get back now. I hope you've seen everything you want. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. I yeah, hope we meet again. I hope so. Goodbye, Mr. Bye. Waheed. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. You see, if I were to grow opium, how would I make contact with the traffickers? These drug barons, they've got agents. They've got agents everywhere. And these agents come round on their mopeds with the steel. And they actually give the farmers these poppy seeds that they grow them. And we'll give you 200 pounds. Half on the spot. Half on delivery. You are the man who's come from Britain. Go away. No, not now. You come to my village. It's not like this. Oh, it's just a troublemaker. He has it about you. Come on. Come on. No, 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 please. You must come to my village, my land. Oh, what do you want? Sugar doesn't make enough money to pay off my debts. Yes, well, well, that's what I'm here for, you see, to approve new grants to help people like you. (laughs) We always promise grants. We want to give you the chance to improve your life with new crops, New roads, new schools. Look around you. Where are the schools and the hospitals? The schools will come and you will do as we say and stop growing poppy. Schools are all right. They are not to be bargained for. And the roads aren't finished. This water doesn't reach my field. Yes. Sergeant, take this man away. Read him. No, 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 no. All right. I'd like to, I'd like to thank you. Uh, you are aware that heroin causes many deaths in the West. I grow opium, not heroin. You create the heroin problem. Well, thank you for your thoughts. Thank you. I'll certainly be Arrest him. Take him to the station. We must get back to the... Charge him. Tell him. You You know the situation there. Would you please tell him that I will consider his letter very carefully. Thank you. I'm very sorry about that. Fourth right. Why can't they grow enough crops? They just won't use the right fertilizers. It comes to planting time and they'll think, if we're a bit short on money, we'll buy cheaper fertilizer. Then they complain when the crop is short. They are always complaining.
Did you give the letter to him? Did you give the Englishman the letter? Yes, I did. He said he would read it. There are rumors in the village that the army is coming. I'll go to the fields later. We'll start harvesting in a few days, then we'll have money again. I know you'll do what you consider to be right. It isn't all that easy to do what's right. More is being produced, but then we are recovering more too. We are certainly on top of it. How much is here? Can't say exactly. I guess a thousand kilos. A thousand? Must be worth millions of pounds. It wouldn't last the addicts of London a year. Let me introduce Mr. Javed Ahmed, the governor of the Northwest province. Nice to meet you, Mr. Ahmed. Pleasure. Uh, forgive me for having kept you waiting. Not at all. I've just been admiring the view. I see you've laid the weather on so that I feel at home. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Thank you. Do you play? Uh, yeah, I used to play a lot. Yes. Yes, this is a beautiful set. You never know, seem to be out of the papers these days, Mr. Lidgow. Everyone talks about you uh, as a future Prime Minister. Well, there hasn't been a Scottish Prime Minister since Ramsay MacDonald, so I wouldn't hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, during your brief uh, visit, I hope uh, you've seen everything you need uh, in order to advise your government. See, I'm just a little bit worried about recommending an expansion in the aid program when the farmers seem to be struggling to meet even the minimum crop production targets. 
Pakistan is a desperately poor country, and the West asks a lot from us. Remember, we have a major problem ourselves with the heroin addiction. So we're just as concerned as you are to find a solution. There's also been allegations that as much as 25% of the aid money is lost before it actually gets to the farmers. Mr. Lidgo, you and I are realists. There will always be temptations when the profits are to be made uh, from drugs. But I think most of these problems have been overcome early. I'm very optimistic for the future. Sorry to interrupt. I'm to tell you the guests will be arriving soon. This is Romana, my daughter, Mr. Lipko. She's a lawyer in Karachi. She's also an agitator. So don't listen to a word she says. <laughs> Nearly two years of painstaking investigation, which was carried out by our police and customs agents, has finally led to the greatest success that we have achieved against the heroin smugglers up to the present day. More than 70 kilos of Pakistani heroin, approximate value of 100 million marks, have been seized. A number of major arrests are being made at this moment. We are confident that this time the operation has resulted in the detention of the men at the head of the organization. Is the arrest of Carl Rosalder connected with the drug seizure? Yes. So, have you been given the sanitized tour, Mr. Lithgow? Well, it's my first visit to Pakistan, so I wouldn't really know, but everyone has been very helpful. You see the man by the window? His name is Tariq Bhatt thinks of himself a very pious, religious man. He owns the biggest transportation company in Pakistan. He's also a major drug trafficker. That is pure speculation. I told you about her, Jack. I'm compiling evidence against him, but nobody cares. I don't understand. How is he here, then? Why isn't he arrested? He's too well connected. He has a lot of money, and that buys him immunity. People we arrest are too frightened to speak about him. She sees conspiracy everywhere. Jack, let me tear you away from my opinionated daughter for just a minute and introduce you to the head of Pakistan Narcotics Control Board. I don't think you quite understand who you're dealing with. Herr Rosalda is a successful businessman with influence. Shut up. Sit down outside and wait. Helen, I want you to go back to the house and reassure the chief. I have to stay here. Go back to the house. I'll phone you if there's any news. I've got the bail application. And I've got our contacts at the police department. Believe me, I have the best people working on this. Now go home and I'll keep you posted. Please. Be strong. I'm sorry. What news, Frau Oswalde? What can we do to help? Nothing yet. Can I get you something to eat or some coffee, perhaps? No. Just, um, just assemble the staff in the library. Thank you. 
Down, everyone. First of all, I'm sure you're very anxious to hear what's going on. I'll tell you what I know. We all have to remember my husband is innocent, and I don't intend to hide away as though we've done anything wrong. Think of an iceberg with Carl Rosalda as the tip. He was the legitimate above the water bit. But below him, there was this enormous illegal empire which he was funding. Did Rosalda finance every shipment himself? I think he had a group of investors. Who were they? I don't know. I know a, a Swiss German bank was involved because he used to boast about it. What I want to know, Jackie, is are we dealing with a corrupt businessman or a gangster who's gone legitimate? Who gives a shit? Hi. Tell me. They're charging him with trafficking heroin. I think you're being very brave. What should I be doing? I feel like I should be doing something. Just pray for Carl's safe return to us. That's all any of us can do. Don't talk down to me. I know he's been involved in something illegal. I'm not stupid. I know he's been smuggling. We've been really careful up to now. Paid the right people and kept a low profile. Carl's never done anything that directly connects him with a drug deal. So what? Where does this Frenchman, Le Desert, fit in? He was running ships from Pakistan to India. Started working for us a couple of years ago. But I think he was trying to deal on the side. Oh, this is such a mess. Carl put all the money into this one big shipment. We've lost 70 kilos. He owes everybody. How much does Le Desert know? Everything. Look, if Carl's convicted, all his assets will be seized. You lose the house, the cars, everything. You've got to try and sell as many things as you can in the next few months. Transfer the family money into different accounts they can't trace, and maybe you can hang on to some of it if... If the worst happens. That just tells the world he's guilty. I'm not going to do that. Don't make any decisions now. Why don't you come downstairs and have a drink with me? Come on. I'll join you in a minute. Can you turn the lights off? Sure. I'm going to be strong about this. I'm not going to let go of everything we fought for. confrontation. We have told our people not to carry weapons today. Last month, 
You promised that you won't use force against us. We have orders. The poppy crop must be destroyed. Tell your people to clear the area. This is our land. We'll grow what we like on it. We won't be told what to do. Dear sir, the welfare of our people, we are being neglected. The government has cracked down on us farmers because we are easiest way to get rid of heroin problem. But the aid is not enough and not spread fair. We are very poor and deserving also.